winter it. Just got to Jacktown in Bangor, Pennsylvania. We're gonna be doing a little walk around of the fairground and the flea market. Today is Friday. The flea market really starts uh, tomorrow and Sunday. So this is the entrance. And uh, we're gonna be walking around and seeing some of the things and sights and sounds. All right. That looks like a big old boiler and here's a big old big old steam engine. Yeah, look at that. All right, let's go over to the fair. In my buildings, in my ram buildings. I'll bring more of mine over. Hey, look who we found. We found Bob Gary of Take a Dip Tools and he's setting up for the the, the uh, thrift show this week and the flea market. Bob, what do you got this weekend? Well, this is a jack town. It's, it happens three times a year in Bangor, Pennsylvania. And I got a huge spot here. There's gotta be about, I'd say a hundred vendors set up for the whole weekend here that sell everything. I mean, I have tools, but there's tractor parts, there's anvils, blacksmithing, there's machinist tools here. If you hit my little blacksmithing area here, with a post vise, a nice little Iron City post vise and a good Parker vise here. I got some tongs, I got blacksmithing hammers, you know, a little small bench anvil there. And so it's just good to have a little bit of everything when you're at a show like this. Right. So this is my blacksmithing area. As you walk on down, you know, hand crank grinders, things like that. Blacksmiths love the metal zigzag rulers sure. because they're not gonna get hot and char like the wooden ones do so that's what they want all right ford wrenches of course you always have the ford guys here so the ford wrenches this is a whole box filled ten dollars each when you see things like this is great a lot of these are hand forged and you get these big nice dividers and calipers yeah you know this size and you're talking about not manufacturing but one guy made this whole thing mm -hmm. you know so from from start to the end was that Locks. for you think that was for boat Guys doing this, boats? This work here? Yeah. It's yeah, just for large work. It could be for you know, anything. structures. You anything know, big, yeah, okay. Yeah, boats, structures. Locks are a good item. Guys are all into locks. Railroad locks, all kind of old locks. And so I have a huge area of, just for my locks. I found out recently there's a whole movement now. It's like how how quick you can undo a lock. Guys Unlock love a lock. it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So I don't have the keys for these. Right. And they're still valuable. Right. You know, so that, that's good to have. A neat thing down here, and we're talking about, again, blacksmithing, and I go through all the barns in Pennsylvania, I'm always running into iron, things that are made by the blacksmith. And this old stuff, I don't even know what some of it is, but it's just, I could tell blacksmiths made it, I know it's old, some of the stuff goes for doors, some of the stuff goes for, you know, tack for horses and such, some of the stuff might be uh, for, for old carriages, but this stuff, a lot of times, when the, as the, the carriage broke down, they would just throw all the metal and stuff into a barn. Mm -hmm. And that's what I find when I go through an old barn before they tear it down, is this old hand forged iron. The old strap hinges and stuff like that. And, and guys love it and collect it, huh? Oh yeah, just because of the beauty of the iron. Mm -hmm. Now going around here, a lot of blacks, a lot of uh, machinist stuff. You know, at a tractor show like this, unlike in the city, out here in the country, the young guys, or metal workers and machinists. Uh -huh. So different than back in New Jersey where I'm from, out here in Pennsylvania, in the farm area, they're into using all these hand tools where you got pliers of all different varieties. You know, you talked about axes, hatchets, real good stuff, just really good tools. Of course, all American made, all older stuff, 1950s, the Boy Scout hatchet right there. You know, the older stuff that's been around 50, 75 years. Going to I've be seen, I've seen these a lot. What's the history on these ones? Well, these are just really, they call them bicycle wrenches, but they weren't just for bicycles. They were for the early cars. It's just a, a, a um, big adjustable wrench. Yeah, adjustable wrench that goes back. Okay. Something I got on me red. <laughs> so some tools here, clamps, more clamps in there. You walk down here, get some new stuff. Even, I mean, I like compare this. You got an old box here, 
beautiful old box and you mm -hmm. got your brand new box there right how'd you come <laughs> Which across one's that gonna one? sell first the old box will sell before the new one will <laughs> how'd you come across that one i like that this, one. this is from, just from a friend of mine that had bought it new and he didn't like the look of the new one he got a machinist box that was oak wood right and he kept the the old one and he sold me the new one ah okay right a lot of different transits, more for surveying, uh, like construction jobs. Oh, Billy you know. Barrett's gonna like that one. Yeah, going going back in the in 1950s and, and earlier. Some old antique clocks that go back into the 1800s. Old wrenches, wrenches that for cars, for trucks. These are the big stuff here. All right, so these are these are for heavy equipment. You know, mm -hmm. so it's good to have a good variety. But again, no Japanese stuff here, no Chinese stuff. This is all American made. What is this thing in there? Oh, it's a torque wrench. It's a torque wrench, yep. Oh, yeah, I've never seen that, one like that. That's a good way. That's an old Williams. You know, it's patented one by Williams. Look at one like this here. It's a good Bonnie. You know, you, you see guys now they're buying stuff that snap on, guaranteed for a lifetime. These have been around a lifetime or two. Mm -hmm. And it's a good SK. Now, and the price is great compared to what you get for some of the newer stuff that's out there of quality. So what? how many people does this... Uh, There'll be a thousand flea people that through here easily. Easy? I, this is my low yeah. level. Show. Yeah, let's take a look at the woodworking stuff. Yeah. My main woodworking interest. Woodworking stuff here, basically you're looking at you know, squares, chisels, more chisels over here. Mostly number four size, number five size hand planes. Good, good framing hammers. Yep. That's a good old Stanley flooring hammer there. That's heavy duty. Yeah, you got good for all good prices too. Yeah, yeah. Some number four size planes, some block planes, some brand new ones. Right, some brand new ones here. And then you got some old ones here. These old ones work a heck of a lot better than the new ones do. I reconditioned one of these last year. They work. It does great. work. I'm telling you, I love the old wooden planes. I got plenty of blades. Here's a treasure. I'm telling you. These old drills, you get you could buy a battery drill, but what's gonna happen with the battery drill? Battery's gonna in about die. two years, the battery charger's not gonna work, the battery's not good anymore. These have been around since 1950s, so they'll be around in 2050. Yeah. You know? And yeah, Black just, and Decker was huge back they're then. Just, yeah. They're just good machines, they're good hand tools, the sanders. This one here, I'm telling you, that's got some torque on that. Yeah. You know, that's a good that'll, half inch. That'll drill. break your wrist. But, yeah, the old jigsaws. This is a way for a young guy to start off. Mm -hmm. You buy tools like this for, for four to five dollars. Yeah, yeah that, that's right. It the really old ones have no seam at all. You can see the seam. Yeah, where is it? There it is. This one goes all the way up to the neck. So this one was probably manufactured around the turn of the century. Really old ones, like I said, have, have no seam at all. They're hand blown and have a panel mark because mm -hmm. they used to break it off. And then the next generation has a seam up to the neck and they used to hand blow the neck cool. I, used to, I used to dig again so it's quiet today people are still setting up the real flea market is tomorrow and sunday At one time, at one point in time, that was the latest in technology. Be the hell out of doing it by hand. I love your crafts. You got some really cool stuff here. Not mine. Now yours? No, it's a friend of mine. Oh, well, wishing well. What a cute idea. We'll be back again. They're nice, huh? Yeah, it's a clever idea. I love it. I just called her up and I said, Where the heck did you get all this stuff? Every year they come up with something different. This is Craig's area of expertise. Oh, the guy's doing some canning here. Right. Yeah, 
Yeah, let's hang around. Meet this guy. There's some wooden planes. Children's woodworking set. Very cute. Bucks, you can start your own farm. <laughs> so there's another show with engines and hit and miss engines and tractors in July. I think July 16th, 17th here. We'll have to come back. People's creativity. Nice coat rack right there. Good old patriotic, the old ranch coat rack. No. It's getting real interesting real quick here. Look at this guy. Yeah, they just used to get uh, used to get mother and bring it out to whatever they needed some power on. Yeah. Put a belt on. Yeah, right get out hit in this engine, yeah. Hi. Okay, here's an old boiler, and this is a cutaway version of it. Again, at some point in time, that was the latest in technology. Yep. What do you think, that's 100 years old, 125 years old? It supplied your heat and your hot water. For a big building? Yeah, big building or the possibility of a um, some sort of shop. Ah, okay. It would power uh, The equivalent of it right here. Yeah, and there, there's the newer version. <coughs> yeah, probably is the same that to you. <laughs> yeah. Some type of cable machine. Never seen one of them. That's for a sky ride at Disney. Oh, yeah, could be. <laughs> Everything old, everything new. What do you need? There's everything here. A vice for that little bench, a little. Uh... No, I just sold to him. Hey, you need a boat? That's a 12 footer. Craig, go ahead and get a boat today. Yeah. Uh, this, is, this is the bigger yard. I think we came in towards the, the back door. You get a doghouse. A tiller. Went down. <laughs> Oh, this brings back memory. This is a lock. 
when we uh, were kids, my dad had a lawn mowing business, and oh, really? we had a couple of those. Yeah, it, the, the wings aren't on it. It would have two, uh, 24 or 30 inch wings on these. You didn't even get Christmas tree ornaments here in Jacktown. See that? Yeah. Hey, you gonna get everything? Yeah, how are you guys making out so far? Great. Yeah, selling anything? Yeah. A few things? Good. All American flea market, love it. Like your trailer. Here's the lawn care department. This old guy here, he is in a golf cart. Yeah. Oh my. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you get it. As they say, it's terrible. On the inside. Yeah, but you know what? Oh, you clean your trailer, your car, your dog. Here you go. It's a pretty interesting this. one. Uh... Well, even though this doesn't start tomorrow, people are still unloading, and there are plenty of people here. And a couple of vendors that I spoke with so far, they're already selling briskly. Briskly. Something for everybody. Oh, my God, what the heck is that? Yeah, I wonder how many people they just took this, took this off their front lawn and threw it in the trailer. 